Here we have a standard 25 foot tape measure. At the end of the tape measure we have a little hook. As we extend the tape out of the tape measure we see that we have standard numbers starting at, well the end would be zero. And we have one inch, two inches, three inches and so on. When we extend it out up to a foot, 12 inches, we see that we have a second set of numbers show up. We have 12 inches which is also a foot and we have 13 inches and then we also have a 1 inch. So 12 inches, 13 inches or 1 foot, 1 inch. That continues on to be 1 foot, 2 inches or 14 inches depends on what nomenclature you're going to be using feet and inches or just inches the entire tape measure continues as we'll see when we get to two feet we have two feet or 24 inches two foot one inch and so on so we can find these measurements quickly now what I'd like to do is let's cover what's in between these full inch marks and to make it easy I'm going to go up to 20 inches so that we're dealing with a zero and a one inch. So there's zero inches and one inch. In between the zero and the one we have several divisions. The largest of them is to divide it in half. And between zero and one we have two halves. So it would be half and then a whole. And it's divided into two segments and we're getting into fractions here which is a whole other area that we're going to explore. Tape measures are a wonderful tool to learn fractions. So from zero half to one we're dividing it into two which ends up being one slash two. Half an inch. If we divide it into fourths, to, uh, four divisions, let's say we divide this into half, so th is, this is two divisions, this is our quarter line, right there. We have half, and half of that again is a quarter. We're going to add one quarter of an inch and there are four quarters to the whole just like there are four quarters to a dollar. We have zero, half, full. We have zero, one quarter, two quarters, three quarters, and the whole, because there are four quarters. Here's one quarter, here's another quarter, another quarter, and another quarter. Now that we have our one quarter, from zero to one quarter, if we cut this in half, this is an eighth line. This is one eighth. There are eight segments this size within our inch. One eighth, two eighths, which is also a quarter, three eighths, four eighths, which is a half, five eighths, six eighths, which is three quarters, seven eighths, and then eight eighths. Since the one inch is divided into eight sections, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Getting to the smallest mark on our inch is a sixteenth. Between the eighth and zero is one sixteenth. And there are sixteen separate lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So each one of these lines each one of these spaces is in sixteenth of an inch at the shortest line. You'll notice that the largest line is half an inch, then quarter, then an eighth, then a sixteenth. You might be asking why we don't do this at the zero. At the very end of the tape measure, we can run into some inaccuracies. 
as you can see this one has a little bit of wear and tear and when you're using a tape measure at the very end we have our one inch we go backwards to half an inch and we have zero but looking at this device here you'll see that it moves and it could be considered loose it's actually designed to do this the reason why it's designed to do that is that when you're measuring an object that you push the tape measure up against we want this to extend in when you're measuring an object that you'd like to hook off the end let's say the length of a piece of wood you hook over and you'll see that the end moves so if we're pushing in the end moves in and if you're pulling on the, piece, on the end of a piece of wood it pulls out the reason why you want this to happen is to account for the thickness of this piece of metal itself if you think about it if it didn't move then if we measured on the inside it might be accurate but if we then measured on the outside and it were not to move it would not be accurate because of this thickness of this piece of metal so we actually want this to move ever so slightly